that can't really this is an MRI knee of an adult patient of a fat saturated sequence. Uh, it shows a uh, distended um, suprapatella pouch as well as the infrapatella pouch with high um, T2 signal within, not suppressed by the fat saturated sequence. There's synovial thickening uh, with a low T2 signal seen within the diffusion, and uh, some are linear and some are rounded, uh, low T2 signal within. Um, there's, uh, I do not appreciate any marrow edema in this patient. There's no cortical break and the chondral cartilage looks intact in, the, um, in this axial view. In the coronal view, uh, I, I can confirm that there's a multi-loculated uh, uh, joint effusion scene, mostly involving the suprapatella pouch. So I'd like to review the GRE sequence to see if there's, there's any blooming artifacts. But um, I, I think there's no GRE sequence uh, available. With okay. this finding, it, uh, it may represent a complex knee joint effusion or other differentials such as uh, pigmented bilonodular synovitis, synovial chondral osteochondromatosis, or a knee joint amyloidosis. If the patient is a long standing uh, patient, renal patient on dialysis. I will correlate uh, the finding with a knee x-ray to see if there's any calcification. If there's calcification, it will most likely to be a synovial osteochondromatosis. However, I do not see any erosive changes in the uh, surrounding knee joints. Um, okay. so, so, so my finding will be PVNS, more, uh, more likely. Okay, so how do you proceed with this case? I will inform the orthopedic uh, surgeon of the findings and uh, proceed with the synovial joint aspiration to send for a cytology of the um, joint fluid and the FEME of the joint fluid. Actually, that uh, MRI, it was, I think, T1 sequence. The last sequence was T1. It's not gradient. It was T1 sequence. So yeah. you can see yeah. hyper intense. Uh, fat globules in the suprapatellar pouch. Mm -hmm. You can see it here in the supraya. So fat components are there, but knee joint effusion, then it's lipoma orbiricins. So uh, this uh, synovial proliferative disorders, all these, uh, I, I think you have to make yourself familiar with this uh, three or four uh, diagnosis. That is a PVNS, synovial chondromatosis, and this lipoma orbison. So all these will like PVNS will be hypointense hemocytin deposits in all sequences with blooming on gradient and always check T1 images to rule out any fat composition uh, so that uh, lipoma orbison is ruled out. Synovial chondromatosis you will always mostly you will have uh, x-rays and then only they will proceed for uh, this thing for MRI. Uh, so you can um, this is lipoma orbiricins. So management part is like uh, always add the management part and finish your presentation all.